This magnificent piece is encrusted with rubies and 15 emerald chips. I'll open the bidding at $5,000. <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm Mickey, this is Mick Flippins. I'm an eBay reseller full-time. This is your first time, thank you for tuning in. Um, going over some sales today and talking about eBay auctions and are they dead and should you do them? Uh, but let's see, I've run only 26, I've run 26 auctions in the last 90 days. I do primarily buy it nows or best offers and so that's my main way of selling stuff on eBay but I've wanted to try a few auctions just to see what would happen and mixed results for sure um, but I'll see uh, the first sale here this wasn't an auction but I do have some auction sales to go over today which uh, we'll get to so stay tuned for that but the first sale from this weekend, I had a pretty good weekend. I had 16 sales, including three auctions. Uh, that netted me a $1,127 uh, with 16 items. So not a bad weekend overall. I'm happy. Uh, but this was the first item to sell uh, this weekend. Um, Star Wars, the original trilogy collection. Luke Skywalker action figure. It's kind of a... A reproduction of the original 12 inch Luke. Uh, that didn't sell for a whole lot, but I got $25 free shipping for that. But it came from a big toy buy that I've made my money on. I probably got maybe a dollar or so into it, roughly. So I'll take that definitely. Next. Oh, this. I don't even remember buying this. So this must have been like a really slow week for buying stuff. So I. It's a uh, Ford Offset box end wrench. Uh, vintage Ford. You can uh, probably won't be able to see it, but it's, it's got a Ford symbol there. It's an older piece, so I guess it is kind of cool. Um, but that sold for $11.97 free shipping. Um, can't imagine I'd have paid more than a dollar or two for it. So, out the door. Ah. And, uh,. With auctions, I'm going to go back to them really quick. Um, a few I started, like when I first started doing eBay really seriously, like five months ago, uh, I did a few auctions. I haven't done many since, but the first, I remember one of my best sales wasn't from the auction, but I did try it at an auction. It was a vintage pirate toy uh, wind up made in Japan toy. It's it, I ended up selling it for twelve hundred and fifty dollars, I think. Uh, but it was something I started as an auction, um, one week, and I think I started the bidding at nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, and I ran the auction for a whole week and not one single bid. Uh, so I listed it as a buy it now and. I think I listed it for like $1,700. Um, eventually ended up selling it for $1,200. Something I, I paid $35 for it. So either way, I was going to, I was making plenty of money on it. But uh, it's just weird to me as a, as a buyer anyway, like you'd think people are looking for more of the bargains. And I'm guessing the guy who bought it obviously didn't see it when it was on auction or doesn't or he just doesn't shop auction because I imagine there's lots of people that just filter auctions out because they're looking for buy it nows. I'm kind of like that when it comes to certain things, mainly because I'm impatient when it comes to stuff like that. But um, it you know he he could have sold for nine hundred ninety nine. Nobody bid on it and I ended up selling it for more. And that wasn't the only time that happened. It actually, happened with the I think it was a antique truckers hat badge something i started the bidding at like fifty dollars and no bids within the seven day bidding period relisted as a buy it now for like 79.97 and it sold the day i listed it so there's that and next sale uh, <clears throat> a 
Rugrats. Bought this at my local mom and pop uh, thrift shop for like, I think it was a dollar. And that sold for $19.97. I got two, well, I got one more of these and one with Tommy and dill pickles on it. Um, but, kind of a neat piece from the 90s. I remember when, well, I don't remember this Paris one. I remember some Rugrats movie. I'm going to going to see it in the theaters. I don't know if it was the Rugrats in Paris. I think it was just the first Rugrats the movie. But anyway, not a bad little sale. And this tin toy bus. Oh, uh, that made in Japan. Missing a wheel. Sold for $15. Free shipping. So I didn't make a ton of money on that, but it came with some stuff that I've I lotted together at a flea market a few weeks ago. And I've made my money back on the, that pile of stuff. So whatever I got for this was I was happy to get rid of because missing the wheel. It would be a hard sale. And, and then with other auctions, I'm surprised what some of the things I've gone for. So I don't know. You can't really gauge, I guess, what something's going to go for. I guess you got to base it on rarity and stuff like that. But with most of these auctions I've been trying recently, they've been lots. Like, like literal lots of multiple items of stuff I just didn't feel like <laughs> listing multiple items and figured hell I'll sell it as a lot because individually it's not worth a whole lot but together they were so and uh let's see boy scouts uh so these vintage boy scout shorts I think they're from like the 50s or 60s uh came with a bunch of boy scout stuff I've made my money back on a long time ago uh those sold for fifteen ninety seven free shipping. So they've been sitting on my eBay for months. So they took quite a while to sell. But hey, they're selling. They're gone. And uh, Mego Batman. This one's the cool Mego Batman. This one's worth a little more than your regular Batman because he has this removable cowl. Which is kind of neat. Uh, I ended up selling him for seventy nine ninety seven free shipping. Uh, even with he's he's got apparently that's Superman's head. It's not Bruce Wayne. Who knew? Uh, but yeah, eighty dollars for a toy missing its hand. I, I can't complain. Came with a lot of Migos and that I bought for like fifty dollars. Um, I've sold. Both of the Migos, or the other Migos that came out, one was with Shazam and one was Superman. And I think I got like 20, 25 bucks each for those, so made my money back on those. So this was my profit, so I'll, not bad. Uh, let's just get right through the sales and then I'll get to the auctions. Here. This Doc Ock action figure, vintage uh, Secret Wars, I believe. Marvel Secret Wars, Dr. Octopus. He sold for $33.22. Uh, free shipping. Uh, so, not a bad little... And he's not even complete. I think he's still missing... I think he was missing something. I can't remember what. But... Uh, so, even these little things sell for pretty okay bunny if you ever come across any. So, that's a nice one. And a Star Wars figure. Uh... So, but AFA graded Boba Fett, AFA uh, 75 plus. So he's entombed in a little acrylic case there. He's got his little certification there. So something I actually found on Marketplace, uh, Facebook Marketplace. I bought him and a Ben uh, Obi Wan Kenobi uh, for 100 each. So, uh, I'm not making a ton of money on it. He sold for $160 free shipping. So not too bad. So technically I paid a hundred. So I'll take it. Um, it was one of those slow weeks when I was just scrolling through marketplace and I'm like, Hey, that's not too bad of a deal. So bought that in this jungle first aid pitch world first aid pouch. 
it's jungle World War II jungle first aid. Yeah, but uh, it sold for uh, forty-five dollars, free shipping. That came with a lot of stuff. I bought just last Friday, and I listed it, and it sold within a day. So it was a nice, quick sale. A lot of stuff I paid uh, like a couple hundred bucks for, but there's plenty of money to be made left on that stuff because I still got some of it to list, and I've already made my money back on this, and I already sold, sold something else with it, which was actually this. So this was another pretty decent sale. It's a Red Cross HBT ditty bag, high, you know, like just a just a pouch you can put your personal toiletry stuff in from World War II era stuff that the the Red Cross would make for the troops uh, to you know help with the war effort. This actually sold for sixty five dollars free shipping, and it was something I bought with that uh, first aid pouch, so I'm already more than half my money back on the lot and I still got some really good stuff uh, from that to list so cannot complain about that and this guy so this guy uh, you know looks like an award but apparently this is made out of coal or I think there was a sticker that said it was made out of coal or something but it's a statue of a coal miner, so I guess it makes sense for it to be made out of coal. Um, either way, uh, this sold for... $24.97. free shipping for this coal miner statue. So, another decent sale. Now we're going to get to the auctions that I ran just this last week. Um, uh, one of which was this... An example of one thing I'm disappointed on. So, uh, this was a Link Aviation Devices patch. This was a World War II era factory workers' pin, something they would have worn on their uniforms. Uh, and Link Aviation, I bought this in one of my last one of my last few uh, flea market videos. Paid two dollars, or well, three dollars for a lot of four vintage patches, and uh, there was two of these in there. I sold the other one on Facebook, a Facebook group, uh, for $150, and it was in worse condition than this. I listed this one on eBay as an auction for $99 starting bid, and I didn't get any bids until the last day, uh, pretty much within the last hour, actually. I had five watchers, um, and it went up to $128.50, I think. 49, 128.49. So I was a little disappointed, um, but I paid $3, so I really can't be too disappointed at all. But it, I, I felt like it's some. I got 150 for one in worse condition. So in my head, I think I should have been able to get a little more for this. Perhaps if I had listed it as a buy now for 250 maybe I could have sold it for more. I don't know. We'll never know. It's definitely something I probably won't come across again. So it is what it is. But it's still a hundred and twenty-eight dollar sale. There was a few dingers in this one, as my friends at Resale CNY would say, some dingers. And I sold this a lot of. This is one I didn't expect to do too well, and I was right. But I wanted them gone because individually these masters don't sell for a whole lot. So. And they're vintage. I bought them with uh, this Halloween mask that I bought way back in November, but I just got around to listing them recently. One of which was a clown mask, just like the style of mask that they used in the Rob Zombie Halloween, where it was when young Michael Myers uh, wears the clown mask in the beginning of the movie. It was the exact same style as that one, and it, they came with that. I sold that mask for like $80, made my money, I paid like $30 for all of them. So I made my money on that one and I, these sold for $10.49 plus shipping. So I'm honestly just happy to be rid of them because if I had listed these individually, it probably would have taken a year to sell all of them. And I probably would have gotten between five and $10 each. So not a lot of money, but 
that time the auction kind of came in handy. At least they're gone, you know. And the Smurfs. I bought these in one of my last videos. Paid $20 for the bag of Smurfs. Um, but it came with this uh, next piece that did really well. Uh, the, the Smurfs sold for $35. So, I mean, I did make a little money there. And then they came in a older Smurf, like, duffel bag kind of thing that I also have listed as a buy it now, which doesn't have any watchers and it's not sold yet. So, I mean, but I mean, that's going to be another few bucks to be made off of the that smurf buy so then the last auction was the littlest pet shop lot uh, i had all that stuff i bought a couple videos ago i paid ten dollars for the lot and that sold for 170 dollars plus shipping plus shipping so that was a great buy and i bought it the same time i bought those like from the same person at the same time not at the same time but from the same person at during the same flea market as the link aviation patches so i did really well with that one um that one i that one i was happy with um i expected it to be around 150 so i mean it met my expectations and slightly exceeded so there's that but all in all i think auctions are good to move death pile stuff perhaps or some things that maybe you just don't know how to put a price on like one okay so this was an night this jacket behind me that was one item that i had put up for auction i started it really high though no bids so I, i'm not sure i'm probably gonna eventually relist it i think i'm gonna wait a little bit but or not i don't know but i don't know really where to list it at i mean I, i'll probably list it a little higher than what i started it at for the auction that didn't go because i mean it's worked for me in the past as i told you several uh, with several uh, items that haven't sold so because generally that's what i do I, I run them as an auction once and then i list them as a buy it now and i've only been doing any time between uh five to ten auctions a week so i haven't done a lot because uh, yeah see 20 26 auctions in the last 90 days so that's two times i did two and this last one i did six and only four of my six lots sold. Um, <clears throat> so, let's... I went through, and I think, only yeah, only 20 have sold out of 26 auctions. So there's six that didn't sell. And I went through, and I went... Uh, most of them, I felt, went okay. Um around what I was expecting a couple exceeded that's the one benefit of auctions is <clears throat> once in a great while they will exceed your expectations you'll be surprised because something I mean, with an auction it only takes two guys to really want it to get that bidding up so 20,000 what are they doing I have 20 25 25 30 35 it is divine mm, 50 uh, I'll probably keep running them occasionally once or twice a month or so where I just got some death pile stuff or lots of items like the masks or sometimes I'll do it with like uh, old toy accessories that I don't feel like sorting which probably isn't the best way to go about it because if some toy accessories are worth quite a bit of money if you piece them out, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks for a little piece of plastic, but identification, you gotta go through and identify them, which <clears throat> isn't that hard with Facebook groups anymore, but it is what it is, I guess. So let me know in the comments, uh, what you think about eBay auctions. Do you run any or do you, did you give up, give up on them? Cause, uh, like I said, when I first started six, uh, doing ebay seriously six months ago i did a few and i haven't done any again until last month is when i started running a few auctions just to move stuff along because sales were a little slow and i thought at least with the auctions it's somewhat of a guaranteed sale on most items so let me know what you think in the comments and uh Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. I got lots of new subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. We're almost to 400, or we just, we just surpassed 300, so we're not quite almost to 400, just a little past 300. 
But I'm um, probably going to do like a 500 subscriber giveaway. So uh, let's get see if we can get up to 500 before six, like six months since I started doing these videos. That'd be awesome. And uh, uh, catch you guys next time. Remember to click like and subscribe.